When the knives started to take weight, you could really hear them grinding and scraping. It sounded like bending metal torture, like, like murder. Worst case scenario, the knives would break, shrapnel would fly everywhere, and stab me in the eye. You could see the whole rig like bend up. The tension was so great. I was ready to bolt. I thought the thing was gonna explode. I was like, what the F are we doing? Hey everyone, Jaren and Mark here. We're back in the studio today, bringing you a special comparison test. That's right, today we are going to test lock strength. So what that means is we're gonna be testing lockbacks, liner locks, and frame locks to see how much weight they can withstand. So this is how it's gonna work. We selected three knives for each lock type from different manufacturers. And we set up a rig where we can suspend increasing amounts of weight starting with 100 pounds and going up to 380 pounds in increments of 50. Now we had 550 pounds, but unfortunately we weren't able to use all the weight. However, 380 pounds was still a ton of weight, enough that the blades actually cut through the steel of the rig. Check it out. So to determine the strongest lock type, we're gonna take the average weight from each group and compare them to get the results. All right, we've already run the tests, so let's see what happens. We think the results might surprise you. First up, lock bags. Cold Steel Voyager, Gerber Gator, Buck Ranger, Okay, here are the results. The Gerber Gator held 350 pounds. The Cold Steel Voyager and the Buck Ranger maxed out. So the average weight for the lockbacks was 370 pounds. Next up, liner locks. Spyderco Tenacious, CRKT Shenanigan, 511 Tactical Scout,
the liner locked, the Spyderco Tenacious maxed out. The 511 Tactical Scout took 150 pounds, and the CRKT Shenanigan made it to 200 pounds. So the average weight for the liner locks was 243 pounds. Last group, frame locks. Kershaw Cryo 2, SE Zan Kudo, Boker Magnum, Okay, for the frame locks, the Boker Magnum took 150 pounds, the SE Zancudo held 300 pounds, and the Kershaw Cryo 2 took the whole weight. So the average weight for the frame locks was 277 pounds. Let's look at the overall results. All right, so the lowest average was the liner locks at 243 pounds. Next up was the frame locks, they averaged 277 pounds. But at almost 100 pounds more than that, the lockback average came in at 370 pounds. Overall, the lockbacks were the strongest. However, we want to show you what happened to the ones that failed. This Gerber, it was even though it failed, it wasn't the lock itself, but the handle that broke. And check out these liner locks. They're completely wrecked. Even the spider co is bent over. Now you can close it, but there's a lot of play in the blade. Now the frame locks are even worse. If you look here, this boker we thought had just slipped, but if you look in the frame, it actually bent. Yeah, it's even more apparent in the SE Zancudo, which locked up tight. And surprisingly, even though this cryo went the whole way and took the max weight, it failed because it locked up and you can't even close it. So what does that mean? Well, out of these lock types, the lockback was the strongest. It's a little less convenient than the uh, liner locks and frame locks for one-handed opening, but it was the strongest. Well, thanks for watching. Make sure to shop Blade HQ for all your gear and subscribe for more great content. See you next time.